What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining Survey Homestead again. I am Dustin. This is Plow Part 2. Check out what we have. All right. If you saw the other video, you might have seen right away that this was not going to work. I kept thinking, why do the wheels have to turn? Why do they have to turn? Maybe that's just the way they can do it commercially. I should do fine with this scraper type of system. But I would have had to do a lot of work to join these things better because they're only held on by these two specks. I would have had to cut several little pieces of flat bar. And plus I realized this is just going to collect a bunch of debris. Clumps of dirt and grass are just going to get stuck on the front of these scrapers and they'll just be carried to the end of the row. And that's why they turn, I think. But it took me a while to realize that, so I learned my lesson slow, I guess. So, I have to redesign it. I don't want to have to try to drill into these bit, these blades and make the hole larger. I don't have a drill press, and it would be really hard to do without a center point to keep the, the bit in line. So, I found that half inch square tubing is truly half inch across. So after some minor calculations, I found that corner to corner is about 0.7 of an inch. And this is 0.625, 5 eighths of an inch. So I got this from Tractor Supply, half inch square tubing, very durable. And I got this rod, what is it, uh, 5 16 rod. It fits in the square tubing fairly well. There's a little bit of space. But this will spin on top of this, and it might give me enough room to put a grease fitting here so that I can squirt some grease in now and then, and the grease will stay in the corners. And uh, I talked to a guy, and he suggested that this might actually be better than a round pipe over a round rod. This will give me a little more leeway and more clearance in case trash gets in here or whatever. So... I'm glad I'm glad about that so at first I was trying to go without buying anything but a lot of times that's just not the best way to do things well you may have to purchase some things and I'm trying to learn that lesson so it wasn't that much I think seven dollars each somewhere around there so to make this fit in here you see how close it is you can get nice and close you see how close it is to fitting? I'm just gonna knock the corner off a little bit more all the way down this square tubing on the grinder. Then I'm gonna cut this into pieces. And I think I'll go three blades, then these four middle blades, and then these three blades on individual sections with a washer between each section. So I'll cut the square tubing about this long from here to here I'll cut it and that will have three blades welded onto it one here one in the middle one on the end and I'll angle the blades a little bit like this and then before the next section comes there'll be a spacer like this and they'll all slide on the rod like that you see so that sections can turn individually if they need to now to hold the rod on, I'm going to have to devise a system. I think the easiest way is to just drill holes into this bunk bed frame. And on one end of this rod, I plan on welding this little washer on permanently. And then I'll slide the rod in, slide the four blade section on, or the three blade square tubing section, then the central four blade section with the washer in between, then the last three blade section, and then slide the rod through to this other hole and just put some kind of keeper, like maybe thread the end of this rod and put a washer and a nut, a lock nut on there. Yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. So then I'll have a, a shallow disc harrow that turns like it should somewhat greased and hopefully strong enough ready to go 
Let's get to it. Alright, 5 sixteenths bar, so 5 sixteenths NC18 should work. Alright, 5 sixteenths inch bar, uh, rod I should say, so 5 sixteenths NC18 should work for the die. These things always look too small. But the threads cut pretty deep. It always kind of tricks me. Wider side down. So you can start off. Try to be nice and straight. Pressing down just a little bit, keeping it straight if possible. When I say straight, I mean 90 degrees between your handle and your work. Starting to bite now. Just instead of putting in there, using
Now we're cooking. Cheap but handy dandy tap and die set. Very, very, very useful. All right, fan is blowing. Super hot, even though it's mid-September. All combustibles have been removed from the area. Ready to go. Okay, I shall cut here. Pepper. Mm, maybe I should cut right in the middle. Yeah. I'll cut here. One, two, three, four. Then I'll cut here. One, two, three. All right, can you picture it now? Rod going through the green frame, through holes, threaded end right here with a washer and a nut. This end having washer welded on to keep it from going this way. Washer here. Washer here. Washer here. Washer there. Saw blades welded on here. Blade 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 able to rotate independently from the next section a little bit of grease in those corners yeah I left this tag on here for visual effect see that rotation I'm excited I think it's gonna be good it's coming together